take my baby. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Action. Stop running from reality. I know I need you. I yeah. know it. Absolutely positively. And the moment I say that I need you, but I'm going to force you to do it, I want you to do that I'm wrong. Yeah, because that's not real love. That ain't nothing. That's control. That's abusive. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about abuse, women. Abuse is so bad and so nasty. Mental abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse. Right. These things are absolutely terrible. All of it. Yeah. And so when you take me to court, that's financial abuse. You tell you tell Uncle Sam to put a gun in my face and say, give me all your money. Yeah. Instead of just asking and saying, hey, look, <laughs> I need this. <laughs> What's up? Can you do it? Can you not do it? Oh, man. And even if he says, no, he can't do it. What th That doesn't take away your earning ability. Do you think submit is a bad word? Submit? Yes. No. I know <laughs> I know that it triggers some women, though. Get, I got a homegirl so that's still looking for a synonym. <laughs> <laughs> she does not like using that shit. As, as <clears throat> soon as... So if I have to acknowledge all the physical realities in life, the one of the most important things for any woman to do is to acknowledge the physical dominance of a man. Right. I have to acknowledge the physical dominance of other men. Mm -hmm. and whenever I walk into any situation, I look at the person and I try to size them up to see, hey, where do I got to punch this dude so I can make sure that I can survive? Because mm -hmm. I have to survive. I want to make sure that I'm safe at all times. And I want to know how come women don't have that exact, well, because we're mm -hmm. different. <laughs> we're biologically Absolutely. different. Absolutely. We have entirely different brains. We are. Yeah. And so if my position is to understand and see danger, I'm just saying women should also understand and see danger. And we do see danger. But I think, and I can't speak for all women, but I know for me, in the moments that I've put myself in danger, I was being overly understanding to some type of degree, like on some protective shit. Like, oh, I'm gonna go with my homegirl because she needs me to protect her. Like, because that sounds good. That was that was part of like the, the rhetoric to uh, prevent uh, taking coochie culture. You mm. know, it's to to go in pairs. You know, never leave your homegirl behind. Like that, that, um, that was to prevent women from being taken advantage of. There are predators out there. I will never yeah. say that there are not predators out there. Yeah, I understand it. And so since I know that there are real wolves out here, I have to I have to be, behave accordingly. But I shouldn't have put my like looking back on it. It's like I don't. That's that's her decision. And she want to do that to herself. Why should I put myself in harm's way just because she want to do some fuck shit? You know damn well your friend was fast. Hell yeah, she was fast. <laughs> Hell yeah. And if we're being completely honest, there probably was a part of me that just wanted to experience the fastness. <laughs> like, hey. But I blamed it on, like, I don't know. There's so many variables. <laughs> Dear men, we have to save ourselves. Mm -hmm. Ain't no woman finna come and stop the child support system. Mm -hmm. The system is not going to, to uh, destroy itself. The system will not destroy itself because they make too much money off of us. Oh, for sure. And so it's not going to change until we actually come together and work together. Involved fathers, <clears throat> uninvolved fathers. If you got a child, if you got uh, uh, $10,000 in child support mm -hmm. debt, there's some individuals got $100,000 in child support mm -hmm. debt. Hey, we're going to discharge that debt. They discharging student loans. <laughs> This is true. They discharging student yeah, loans. I just got a little bit they, off today. They say they say the system is predatory, that we didn't fully understand that these people they're gonna send you to college so you go get a culinary degree. Mm -hmm. And then nobody hired nobody with no culinary degree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And truth be told, the, the government only made they call the child support law is like Title Four D. They did that because there was so much pressure on the government to help families that needed state. Every civilization has always understood that the family structure is the economic power system of a nation. Mm -hmm. Everybody understands that. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they divided the family uh, based on economics, and now we're just completely lost. We, we've come, like that. <laughs> if mm -hmm. me and you work together and we pull our money, we got more money. Yeah, that's not that. It's just simple math. My one plus one is two. In Houston, if you want to have a two bedroom place in Houston, it's going to cost you a thousand dollars or better. A thousand dollars to live in the ghetto over here with me, and mm -hmm. at least seventeen hundred to be in a nice area. Mm -hmm. And so, if if you live in a nice area and I live in a bad area, that's twenty seven hundred dollars. Where could we live then? Mm -hmm. What kind of mortgage could we have then? In a better place. What kind of dinner could we have then? Yeah, like stay focused, bitch. Why are we focused on the wrong thing all the damn time? I'm talking about feelings. This ain't got shit to do with your feelings. Be you, objective. You might have brunch. I'm finna have top ramen. <laughs> 
Child support is a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm telling you. It is, it's like, yeah, for real. It's, it has to stop, like, for real. I go grocery shopping and I buy meat. All the good shit that I buy, I put that whole in the deep freezer and I save it till my babies get here so I can cook for them, yeah? Yeah. And, and daddy be eating sandwiches and chips and fucking noodles and shit. Mm-hmm. Congratulations to all the daddies, the involved fathers out there doing the best they can. <laughs> the involved fathers. Facts. And, and congratulations to all the uninvolved fathers who run away from, from a situation that's toxic as hell. Yeah. And see, that's a whole... Uh, to- toxicity is a whole thing. That's a whole other reason why a man wouldn't want to be around his kids. I have to be around a toxic bitch just to be around my child. Don't nobody want to deal with that? Every man who's running away from a system that they think is... uh predatory or oppressive mm-hmm. i think those niggas are superheroes yeah the deadbeat dads in america boy y'all I mean, y'all smart as hell it's just it's just regular human nature i don't want to be around the thing that's causing me to have abusive to be abused y'all y'all is the slaves that escaped the plantation and everyone else like what why are you running <laughs> where you going Ooh, master finna be mad i'm finna tell get back to work it's 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 it's, it really is like that. Hey, dear gentlemen, man, if that woman is a toxic person and she's going to put police in your life, stay as far away from her as you possibly can. Yeah, but put, be be smart about it, though. Just like any person that's in an abusive dynamic, it's like put yourself in a position so that when you do leave, you can be in a good position because those child support laws are against you. And if you leave and if she can claim that you don't have the ability to was staying on your own, you will not see your children. I saw this uh, series. I forgot what state it was, but they run it on the news. Like they put your picture on the news and say, uh, John Smith is a bad father. He's in debt, $44,000. Oh, shit. They put you in jail. And while you're in jail, they come and interview you. They put the camera in your face. Oh, wow. And the reporter said, John Smith, why did? Why are you $44,000 in debt? Yeah, what did he say? And John Smith was like, I, I'm just not being a good man. I, I, I got in trouble. I was smoking meth and I went to prison and I came out and I was $30,000 in child support debt. And then mm. I went to go work at Wendy's and I got fired because I was smoking meth in the back because I'm making John Smith sound. Mm-hmm. But we use substances to cope with this oppressive system. Right. You ain't got no money in the job that you work at. It's a dead end job. And you're trying to figure out how do I navigate this thing? Right. How do I? My baby mama told me, she told me, she said, just figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The prison system is filled with men who just trying to figure it out. Yeah. When I can't participate in the above ground market, I go to the black market. Mm-hmm. I sell dope. Right. I bust niggas upside their head and I take their wallets mm-hmm. because someone's got to explain why I ain't got shit. Yeah. And the court system don't care that I ain't got shit. And then even if you want to try to do better in a legit way, you get castrated. You get your driver's license taken away. You go into jail. When you get out of jail, you still don't have a driver's license. How are you going to drive to work? How do you ask me for money and then take away my opportunities to go make some money? Yeah, it's it's hella castrating. It doesn't make sense. I personally would be pissed. And I know a lot of women would be pissed off if, the, if a man could just get... Tyree said, Tyree said, Norma, Norma. Oh, my God. I can't get no job, that Norma. Name, that name, Norma, will forever be in my head. Hey, shame on you for marrying a bitch named Norma. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Get a better name and a better lawyer. Oh, shit. That's a hateful mm-hmm. ass name, bro. Yeah, Norma. <laughs> Stay away from Norma's, Edna's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go, don't go down the name. <laughs> you must... <laughs> Edna's Josephine's oh Cynthia's man, oh, Cynthia damn. was an evil bitch on Rugrats Holy remember Christ, Cynthia's man that sounds like a <laughs> that's like a white woman <laughs> that's a what woman a white woman right <laughs> Cynthia is a white woman, yeah. I ain't never heard Cindy. no black woman named no Cynthia. I guess that's true. But we ain't talking about race, and, right? And if you're a black woman named Cynthia, you ain't black. <laughs> oh, shit. Now we, <laughs> now we about to tell people they ain't black. You know you know what I mean? That's how illogical this it, it thing really is. It really is illogical. It doesn't make any sense. We just say whatever, do whatever, and we allow the system to just take advantage of us because we're so yeah, divided. Yeah, but, th- but nobody's being independent thinkers anymore. You're just you're just regurgitating what's already been said. Oh, they need to take care of their children. But have you ever thought about why he didn't have the choice? Why is he being forced to, like... We got we got Planned Parenthood, and they ain't got no family classes. Right. <laughs> they murder babies. Right. 
Holy, Any kind. Holy, holy All goodness. Kinds. <laughs> look, at, look at what we're promoting. Yeah. We can, the same way we invest in single motherhood is the exact same way we can invest in families. You can right. give people a tax credit to get married. How right. about that? Right. Yeah. You tell me, you say, man, you can't do that. With every piece of legislation they pass, that incentivizes a piece of behavior. Yeah. Because we're talking about we care about families. But nothing, no actions show that the government cares about my family. The government specifically says through law that if you leave that man, I will give you a uh, child support. I will give you food stamps. I'll probably even provide you with Section 8. Mm -mm. And then continue to charge that man money as the government funds your life. Right. <laughs> this, this is a system of waste. This is mm -hmm. a system of destruction. It's a system of oppression. And, and Tyrese, he cried about it. But instead of saying it's a system and attacking the system, he said poor men or uninvolved fathers. He said it's baby mothers. He said the court system. He said racism. It's a multimillionaire yeah. crime playing victim. Just regurg That's what I mean. Just regurgitating what he's already been told. It's not true. You're only having to pay child support because the, the, the government does not is tired of paying for families. But they pay for everything else. They do. That's why they need the man's money, because they're, they're, they're almost going in debt paying for um, Dear America, you'll fund war, but you won't fund the family. And when your actual economic base is families in America, because we go to the stores, we buy clothes, mm -hmm. we generate all the money. And instead of helping us, you go help some people in Ukraine. They're going to mm -hmm. destroy Ukraine and rebuild Ukraine. But that's what I mean. That, that's what they're doing with us. So it's still war. They're still funding war because this is a fucking war. I'm at war with man. Like, that is war. We're in the most craziest class war in the history of the world. We have a whole entire uh, system working against working families. And instead of us working together in a spirit yeah. of collaboration, you take me to court. Like, why not force us to work together? You are a legitimate unicorn because you had the power to, to utilize the system in your favor and you chose not to. That's actual equality. That's actual. Mm -hmm. man, you are, I want to call you a heroine because, you know, <laughs> you dope. Yeah. You dope, nigga. I'm I mean, dope. You dope, ma'am. I'm dope. What's up, Toby Knight? Wait, can I say that? Yeah. Says, I'm dope. Well, yeah, That's my did, shit. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's because, and like I said, I might come from a privileged place. I was, I was careful. I did look at myself as an entity. I didn't want to just lay down with anybody that, no, I didn't do that. So okay. I have a child with a, a completely sane and loving person that I did not have to. And even if I didn't, like I've tried to put myself in those shoes, right? If I was, if I had a child with a man that was completely abusive and errat abusive in the manner of like with his language, yes. to talk down to me yes. and I didn't want to be a part of that and I would just leave. But I, I come from a long line of real pimps. Ain't no assistant pimps in my family. We're all strong black women. And I would just go get it how I get it. For the record, I am anti-abuse. I don't think any person should ever be in an abusive mm -mm. situation. Number one, you need to know the person. Number two, if you see a person that you love is struggling, mm -hmm. then there are resources to help get out of that situation. Yeah. I just don't think that using the state as a weapon is is a good way to well, yeah and that's why i brought it up because it's like even in an abusive i still wouldn't use vengeance as angry as i would be as frustrated as i would want to be and to even be offended to the point where i would want to get vengeance i still wouldn't go to that magnitude i the important things is is that i'm healthy and that i get away tyrese is a multi-millionaire and he feels helpless can you imagine a regular old dude who came from a, a disadvantaged situation mm -hmm. who feels completely helpless and you have a person who's taking their money and they feel like uh, she's antagonizing him? Right. Talking down we on him. We can't lay down and take it. We have to fight for rights. For you you rights. incel, you bum, you deadbeat, mm -hmm. and just, just mentally attack you, mm -hmm. emotionally attack you. Yeah. That dude cried so hard because Norma said mean things to him. Mm -hmm. And then she went and has another dude living in the house that he paid for and spending his money and driving his car. And that makes Tyrese <laughs> angry. Yes. And it, it triggers abandonment issues. It's perpetuating abandonment issues in these men that is creating the spirit of the bitch nigga. And I feel like... <laughs> If women like we talk about, we talk shit about ain't no good men out here. The spirit of the bitch nigga is upon us. Yes, the spirit of, because women are helping perpetuate hurting him. You're you're hurting him. You're causing him. You're causing abandonment trauma. You're creating the men that you hate. Yeah, and then you get mad that there's no good men out here. 
But what are you doing about it? Taking them to court. <laughs> you're taking them to court and you're just causing more, put more wood to fire. Like, it's crazy. Hey, like, I know that women are supposed to have the ability to be powerful and all that. Yeah. But being a, a single person with, with no uh, support, that's not power. Right. That's being very, very weak. Mm -hmm. Even animals understand the herd mentality. If we stick together, then we can accomplish so much more when the <laughs> predators come to come get us. And we're fighting against nature. That's why it's so, that's why everybody's so angry because we're fighting against nature for the sake of being right. We're fighting against our our real <laughs> feelings. We're fighting against biology, and we're right. asking <laughs> why is why are 150 million Americans on antidepressants? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> We we have we have made ourselves sad because we refuse to be a good human being. Just humble yourself. I know it's painful. It's painful to be accountable. It's painful to say I did that. So you said humble yourself. You said humble yourself. Submit. Mm -hmm. Submit. It, it takes a, it takes a lot of humbling to be submissive to. But like you have to look at yourself. Like this is what it looks like. If a man walks in the house and he says, "Why you didn't make any dinner?" And you immediately get offensive, like, what you mean I mean? And da, da, da. like, just take a moment and think about why did that make you mad? All he asked for was, and you can give an answer. Every person is different. Uh, but culturally, I grew up in a, in a uh, neighborhood that was first generation Mexican individuals. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And there was this man who was a for real alcoholic. And he would sit at the store and just drink beer. And that was it. But he had a wife and a whole family. He had sons and a daughter and everything. Mm -hmm. And when he got done drinking, he'd go to the house and she was going to, she might be mad at him, but his food was going to be made because she understood that having a father in the house was more important than her being mad that her, her baby dad is drunk mm -hmm. or her husband is drunk. Yeah. And I don't know what happened in that man's life for him to emotionally disconnect and just go to the alcohol. But she's still beside that man because she knew even, even when this is, it might be controversial. Mm -hmm. You might disagree. She knew that having that male presence in that house with her children was was better than her being by herself. Right. And he always came home. Yeah. Everyone has uh, a level they're willing to tolerate. But I'm just saying on the extreme that there are people who are willing to commit to the idea of family. Mm -hmm. There are people who really love is a responsibility. It's duty. Right. When I love you, all of a sudden, like if I don't give a damn about you when you're sick, I ain't finna send you no chicken soup. I ain't finna mm -hmm. no life. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You gotta sit there and suffer alone. But people that are hurt are incapable of giving love. That's why self evaluation is so important. I can't give you what I don't know how to do because of all the damage that's been done to me. Love is patient. Love is kind. It's not mm -hmm. self-serving. When... This is the times when I want to use the Bible to be powerful. Right. Uh, Corinthians 13 is so powerful when they break down all the things that love is and even mm -hmm. what love isn't. It's, it's not jealous. It's not envious. Mm -hmm. It doesn't keep record. It does not keep records of wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like This is what love is. It's, it's to actually uh, value the other person as much as you value yourself. Right. But when you, when you are incapable <clears throat> of doing that, it's because you yourself have been through real pain, real abandonment, and you get into this, they call it in psychology, they call it survival mode. Survival mode. Where you cannot, you literally feel like you have to protect yourself so much that you cannot give what you don't have to give. You are powerful enough to overcome whatever psychological, mental anguish that you might be facing yeah and we've had we've accepted this spirit of victimhood that we don't even know how to to, to show up for ourselves mm -hmm. much less show up for another person yeah our relationships are broken because we are broken we're broken yeah well, welcome to the club and it hurt and that's the part that hurts right that's why people won't do it because it's extremely painful to look in the mirror and say not only am i broken but i have to take some responsibility for some of the brokenness that i've had Hey, hey, dear Tyrese, I, I cried so much. The first time, the first time I cried so hard uh, was the uh, when my my ex wife left and took the kids, and I was in an apartment all by myself, and I was I was sitting in my children's room uh, holding their stuffed animals, and I just broke down, and so I called my mother. When I called my mother, I cried so hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, like it was worse than the, like when he said the ugly cry, right. Like, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. But I was by myself in a room and I was on the phone with my mom. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I was just wailing. And yeah. when she responded to me, I could hear the disgust in her voice. Mm. Like it was just like, damn, hey, uh, hey, 
and put your big boy drawers on, mm. uh, uh, figure the shit out. Uh, it's gonna be all right. Mm. But but to but to hear her son in such a weak state was fucking disgusting. Mm-hmm. And I, I think just naturally, any woman seeing a man being just weak. And and vulnerable is disgusting because you know that at that moment I don't have the ability to protect you. Right. I can't do shit for you. Mm. It's a broken nigga. You know what? And you know what? And I respect that response so much because when I heard the disgust in my mother's voice, I was like, holy shit, Mm. (laughs) this is unacceptable. Yeah. She didn't pacify me. She didn't motherfucking tell me it's okay. I was a victim. Mm -hmm. She said, hey, if you want the shit to change, then change the shit, nigga. Yeah, because men are innately warriors. And, and so now, me and my ex-wife, we work together in a spirit of collaboration to the best of our ability. And when she don't want to work with me, she don't got to. And I'm still here when she's ready because I love my children and I respect her. Right. And What's you accept up? it regardless of what it has, what how it hurts you. Hi, Tyrese. I cry like a motherfucker, too. It's hard. Yeah. Dear every person, life is really hard. It is. It's a struggle, but I pray that each one of you struggles victoriously. Yeah. But you have to have a spirit of collaboration. You have to have a spirit of collaboration. And and, and collaborating, understand that people have their own autonomy. And if you don't believe me, I'm sitting here working with a woman right now to bring you the good news that it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. If I ruled the world. I would... Uh, abolish the child support system. That's what I'm saying. And I would and I would encourage every person who's going to be in a relationship to enter with a spirit of collaboration and the spirit of selflessness. Yeah. That we're going to do this thing. Yeah. We're going to build this thing. And we're going to continue to just bring you the most powerful messages of being crying like bitches to the best of our ability. Yeah. Stop bitch nigga <laughs> energy. Do not keep perpetuating the bitch nigga dumb. The greatest American alive. 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 <laughs> Everyone sees how powerful women are. Yeah. You can see it. There's a financial incentive to mm-hmm. being a powerful woman. Mm-hmm. So much so that men are saying they are too. Cause cause pussy run this. <laughs> I know there was no pushback, but I'm telling you, if you want to ask me why there is this whole transition, it's because there's a financial incentive to transition. Yeah. As a man, if I say that I'm a strong masculine man and you expect me to go fight, you expect me to go Mm -hmm. be a man. And as soon as I turn to my man card and I give it back to you and I say, I'm not a man no more, I'm a lady then I get all the privileges <laughs> of being a lady. You can get, pri- for all those on child support that are trying to figure out, if you make yourself a real entity, like an EIN and a DBA, and you associate all of your finances to that, you won't have to pay so much in child She's support. She's telling you how to financially protect yourself, and it's completely legal. Yeah, it is. It is, absolutely Why positive. shouldn't you, and you know, for all the people that are like, oh, that's fucked up, da, 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 but... It's not because if the government can try to use you against you, then you should protect yourself. She just told you how to be more powerful for every man who's crying about child support. She just gave you free game. I'm not going to repeat what she said. (laughs) You can rewind it and see what she said. I thank you so much. You're the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. (laughs) 